Binge Pipe is a little too proud of this menu screen. Binge Pipe may not be your traditional streaming service, but we're definitely streaming service adjacent. The roguish outsider that doesn't play by the rules. The undisciplined bad boy that maybe, just maybe, you can change. Binge Pipe offers a new service where we explain to your mom what happened in the part of the show she was watching after she fell asleep. So who is he? Her son. Oh, wait, what now? What do you remember? I remember a party for the one guy. That's her son. Is he the handsome one? Yes. With the beard? No, wait, no. I'm confused. Binge Pipe, we're patient. Is it possible to have too much content? These new Binge Pipe programs say no. Deep in the American South, there was a town with a secret. Excuse me, can we ask you about the body found in Walter Creek? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. A secret nobody wanted to talk about. There is no body in the creek. There's never been a body in the creek. That's when a film crew discovered... Lies! It's all lies! We were in the wrong town. We don't even have a creek! Coming this winter to Binge Pipe true crime documentary bloopers. When we went down into the basement, we found the shrine that he had made out of human boons. I, I mean bones. Uh, Whoops. <laughs> I'm Blake. And I'm Chad. And we're the Internet Brothers. Watch us pull some sick stunts. <laughs> I went to a grocery store, dressed like a dinosaur. And figure out how to monetize our growing Instagram following. What are the tax implications? That's Blake and Chad. The, the Internet, Internet Brothers. Brothers. We bought a dinosaur costume. Your phone or other device will function as your buzzer. Data informs us that this is fun. Hi, I'm Sam. I've lived in this quaint New England town my whole life, which maybe isn't that long to you per se, but to me, it's a lifetime. Maybe when you're coming of age in New England. Hey, Ma! Grab that wicked pizza! And you're a lobster. Yeah, Ma, the one doing a monologue! You gotta be ready to go out on your own. It bit me! The lobster got in my car! See you in hell! It's parking my car, Ma! The monologue and lobster is parking my car in Harvard Yard, Ma! Ma'am, excuse me, I'm with the show. Binge Pipe would like to express its deep regret for investing in You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, we went with our first idea. Hello, I'm Cookie Master Sin, and I'm not here to replace your dad. I'm just here to read some trivia questions. Okay, buddy? Eight players, yeah. I've definitely been to a party with eight people before, but why are you even asking? I mean... Come on! And right this way. Start the game. Time for question one. Let's start with... The Geriatric Avenger. The secret to box office millions is letting a 95-year-old comic book writer wander through your film. If there were an Etsy store called Stanley Cameos, what would it sell? Stanley's profile engraved on necklace pendants, Stanley's silver hair intertwined on cross stitch pillows, Stanley's fingerprints on decorative clothing pins, or soy candles that smell like Stanley. What'd you guys pick? When you engrave an image into a material and wear it as jewelry, it's known as a cameo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, here's a good one. Music you can laugh to. 
If someone put a fermata on their laughter, what would it sound like? Ha! Oh. Or, ha, ha, ha. Hope you like what you picked. A fermata is when you hold the same note for longer than you normally would. It's challenging, but luckily, as a classically trained performer, I'm able to pull laughter from deep down in my... Well, you get the idea. Why don't we do it with three? Take a good look at... Siri, submerge me in vinegar, and it's time for a dis or dat. I'm gonna read you seven things, and for each one I want you to tell me if it's the name of a virtual assistant or a type of pickled food. Don't think too hard, I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between a virtual assistant or a pickle. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go. Curtido. That was mostly miserable. Moving right along. I don't need you anymore. Here we have eloquence is a thing. Who has the largest vocabulary? Pikachu, Groot, the Raven, or Roadrunner? So what'd you pick? Nevermore should you pick this answer. <laughs> Wanna see the right answer? Pikachu can only say its name. Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven only says nevermore. Roadrunner says meep meep. But Groot can speak a whopping three words. I am Groot. <laughs> and yes, I know Groot also says we are Groot at some point. So that's two more words. Groot can say five words. Are you happy? Don't at me. Here's one for you. Brand focused. The letters in which of these brand names are traditionally monochromatic? Coca-Cola, FedEx, Subway, or Google? Okay, what'd you pick? The Fed and the X are two different colors. <laughs> FedEx and Subway letters each use two different colors, and Google goes crazy with a different color for each letter, but monochromatic means one color. Branded Coca-Cola is almost always all white. Whoa. Some people call it soda, others call it pop. To me, it will always be known as mouthwash. Round one is dead to me. Let's see which of you is my favorite. Currently, player one is in the lead. Yep, called it. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth 
twice as much in round two. You're doing so well, Cookie. Six trombones is not a parade. Here's one I like to call pastel tights and oversized packages. Which is the only phenomenon mentioned in the pledge of the U.S. Postal Service and the Green Lantern Corps? Heat, night, evil, or rain? Okay, let's take a look. Heat? In those Postal Service short shorts? Bring it! Yes, one of Green Lantern's primary foes is rain. That and, uh, sad songs. <laughs> Ma'am, I don't know how to say this. Your blue apron box was claimed by evil. <laughs> Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of darkest night. Beware my power, Green Lantern's light. Or something like that. <laughs> Of course, who can forget when Green Lantern and the Postal Service joined forces for the crossover event, Sinestro and the Incorrect Zip Code. Las Bears se moque de moi. Set. Up next, we're listening, you're listening. Oh, all right, it's, it's one of these. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you've been diagnosed with hypoesthesia, we thought you would enjoy the song Stressed Out, I Can't Feel My Face, Wake Me Up, or Cool for the Summer. So who got it? Hypoesthesia is a lack of sensitivity to touch stimuli, so this song by The Weeknd is very relatable. <laughs> Media that numbs your senses is just one of the many special features offered by Binge Pipe. Hey, question. At Binge Pipe, we value your needs. Would you like a question with nothing to hide or a question with an ulterior motive? Vote on your devices now. Here are the votes. You have engaged with the process. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Try this on for size. A question with nothing to hide. <clears throat> the answer is C. And how do we do? Told ya! Not everything is a trick question. Na, 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 na. Next up, London Colin. What could actor Colin Firth change his name to while still retaining its basic meaning? Colin Lake, Colin Creek, Colin Estuary, or Colin Bog? Okay, who chose what? <laughs> a Firth is another name for an estuary, a water passage where the tide meets a river current. <laughs> there is no hiding from... Fuck yeah, Crate and Barrel! Which of these is baller, in that it makes balls? A microplane zester, a demi toss spoon, a stone of molcajete, or a Parisienne scoop. I love this part. Any last words? Not uh, too late. A Parisienne scoop is a fancy name for a melon baller. I fing love kitchen tools. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. 
We may miss the blue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. What a colorful character, but I hope you remember what color. Good luck. Two takes it! Congratulations, Player Two. Amazing job. I have tears in my eyes, but that's just years of personal regret building up. As for you, well... You don't know Jack! Love stories. He was my barista. She was my favorite customer. And yada yada yada. We've been married for 12 years. Love stories. We were coworkers. I probably asked her out about 10 times over two years. Every time she was like, no thank you. I was thinking, eating, and dreaming no thank yous. I had totally given up at one point. And then out of the blue, she smiled at me and I just went for it. Bam. And this time it was different. This time she was like, seriously, no, 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 please stop. You're making me uncomfortable. So he asked out a different girl and now I've been with this girl Sharon for like six years. Eight years. Yeah, eight years. Love stories. I tell you though, kids are a lot different these days. 